immune boosting flavonoids. Okay, you see depicted here the brightly colored uh, vegetables, the bell pepper, the tomato examples. The meat here is nutrient dense protein, which can also be represented with a chicken, fish, and turkey. Immune and natural killer cell boosting berries. Again, these are the antioxidants. Much like the flavonoids that we saw with the brightly colored vegetables. These berries can represent any uh, of these uh, fruit in the berry family. Strawberry, cranberry, blueberry, raspberry, any of your berries. And these are brightly colored fruit. Cherries are included. They boost the immune system function. Increase uh, antioxidant uh, activity as well as uh, cancer uh, fighting uh, activities. Heart healthy omega 3 fatty acids are represented by your fish, in particular your cold water fish. Salmon, cod, tuna, halibut, and tilapia are examples of cold water fish. Fiber. See depicted here, uh, lettuce, your, your romaine, your iceberg lettuce. Again, this is uh, depicting fiber here. Omega-6 fatty acid, skin, eye, brain, tissue, and organ. Also your artichoke, represented in the upper left. Superfood along with avocado. Cold and flu fighting pomegranate. Again, this is these are antioxidant, immune boosting, natural kill, natural killer cell function producing, antioxidant uh, fighting, anti-inflammatory fighting, cold and flu fighting kale also represents can be represented by your collard green, mustard green, spinach. These are the spices: turmeric, oregano, clove, coriander. Um, mint, ginger, onion, garlic, all of these help with uh, blood pressure regulation as well as blood sugar, blood glucose regulation, especially cinnamon. Fiber, your sprouted grains, whole wheat, oats, and flaxseed. More fiber represented by apple, banana, and orange. In the case of apple, the peel, uh, the skin is uh, should be consumed as well. Fiber here depicted with banana, along with orange, fiber being within the flesh or the meat of the fruit. Grapefruit, more fiber. Again, you see the brightly colored uh, uh, flesh there, antioxidant, flavonoid function. These are your fiber represented by walnuts, almonds, pumpkin seed, apricot seeds. Any of your nuts and seeds are fiber. Also complex carbohydrate uh, in addition. And they also have serve a, a protein function as well. Incomplete protein function. We want to avoid artificial flavorings, colorings, additives, excess salt, refined sugar, white flour, water. Very important, an ounce per day per kilogram of body weight for children, one half ounce per day per kilogram body weight for adults. Brain food, salmon in particular, foods for the brain. Egg, okay, especially the carbohydrate, carbo complex carbohydrate with folate, thiamine. This is uh, peanut. Brain food, especially the com dense complex carbohydrates, steel cut oats, complex carbohydrate dense nutrient rich. These are brain food, especially for breakfast in the early parts of the day or those that work at night, uh, those that are going to begin the, the bulk of their activity. Again, milk and plain yogurt, uh, very rich in protein, casein, milk protein, whey, also very rich in whey. Uh, as well as calcium. Tofu, very complex uh, uh, protein, very dense, nutrient dense. Brain health, complex carbohydrates uh, also include rice, corn, bean, potted peas or legumes, and your lentils.
So all of these are brain foods. Eye health, carrot, uh, chief of uh, chief amongst with your palmitate or your vitamin A. Also spinach, kale, and leafy greens. All uh, these uh, help protect the nervous system, this nervous system tissue of the eye. The special cells called rods and cones for night vision and sharp vision and accurate uh, visual acuity, if you will, accurate vision. Very important. Next is squash. You see the brightly colored um, uh, pigmentation. Again, these are flavonoids, but also very, very rich in vitamin A. Sweet potato. Again, these are osh potatoes in the depiction, but sweet potatoes are brightly orange, brightly colored, and larger but rich in vitamin A, rich in palmitate, as well as the flavonoids, the antioxidant, uh, immune boosting, anti-inflammatory creating uh, nutrients. Food for teeth and gums include bok choy, cheese is depicted here, rich in calcium, rich in calcium. Also your vitamin D and your B complex, kiwi surprisingly, also very good for teeth and gum. Here we see depicted cranberry, as well as the B complex as depicted, along with vitamins C and that grouping. Celery, again represented here, vitamins uh, C and B complex, along with vitamin A, vitamin K also. Cucumber, more B complex. Again, these are crunchy vegetables, celery, cucumber, which helps us scrape and clean the teeth. Gut and colon health, uh, you want to certainly add olive oil, polyunsaturated oil, avoid saturated fats, trans fats, and fast foods. Olive oil, be careful with heating so that it doesn't decompose. So just light, lightly sauteing or just over the food with an herb or a spice within the oil itself. Very, very heart healthy your olive oils, your polyunsaturated. Foods for muscle strength and bone health, again, for fall prevention in seniors or daily servings of all the categories we just mentioned. Estrogen boosting foods include your oyster, shellfish, chickpea, quinoa, and coconut oil. For men, testosterone boosting foods, mushroom, bok choy, olive oil, garlic, green veggies, and cacao or chocolate. And we want to transition to healthy exercise and or play. Always want to check with your doctor first before beginning an exercise and or diet routine and or regimen. Stretch from head to toe, begin with neck, shoulders, arm, and back. See depicted here by the young woman stretching. Very gentle stretches through the range of motion without going past the point of pain. Stretch each muscle group three to five minutes. Seeing here, back of shoulder, arm, and trunk rotation. Yeah, just general stretching through the range of motion. Work down to the sides and torso. The stretch loosens the hip, butt, sides of thigh, and the calf. Just a very gentle, active range of motion. Carefully stretch all large muscle groups, increasing blood flow and oxygen to tissue. Stretch the lower back, butt, hip extensors, the back of the thigh, and the calf. Be sure to balance yourself and stretch. Bounce minimally. You want to bounce minimally. More stretching, less bouncing. This is a two-person seated straddle stretch depicted here. Good for torso and back. As well as trunk, shoulder, and neck. You see the having quite a bit of fun. Now you want to move to neck and shoulder. Stay with the natural within the natural range of motion. Do, do not go past the point of pain or discomfort. Compound seated stretch. 
size of the neck and shoulders, trunk stabilizers, buttock, back of thighs, and calf. Very nicely depicted. The trunk rotation, stretching of the sole of the foot and the toe as well. All muscle groups, large muscle groups. This is the quad strep, hip extensors, and buttock. And then the forward crunch for the trunk stabilizers. Be careful with the sit up, you don't injure the back. Stretch the buttock, back of thigh, foot, and sole. Be careful with knee flexing and bending as well as hyperextending the knee also. As you see here, very, very, very careful with strain injury or the shoulder, back, and or calf. Stretch of the front of the abdomen and buttock tightening. We see here, first the abdomen, now the buttock here, now the abdomen. Simultaneously uh, compressing or flexing the buttock. And stretching it alternately and stretching the abdomen as we see here. Stretch of the, for the front of the thigh, you can squeeze the butt muscle of the standing leg. Kind of increase the activity there. Lean slightly backward to stretch the front of the abdomen as you're doing the exercise also. There's a stretch for front of upper arm as well as the front of the shoulder. Be careful not to overextend or hyperextend the shoulder. There's a stretch for the neck, lateral bend. Stay within the range of motion, slow movements, not going past the point of pain and or discomfort. Very nice and gentle, large muscle groups. Exercise during pregnancy, again, you want to check with your doctor and or healthcare provider before engaging in any exercise stretching or diet change and or routine with pregnancy. You see depicted here, stretch for conditioning the trunk stabilizers and the low back. And stretching, and then extending alternate arm and leg. Balancing, stabilizing, trunk positioning. General stretching. Senior walk, jog. Note the knee lift for buttock and quad strengthening, and then the arm swing for gait and balance conditioning. This is for fall prevention. Very important. These are large muscle groups, active coordination, balance, strength, function, and gait. Very important for all, really all age groups. Now we'll transition. A seated exercise bike, just general active range of motion. Dial down the resistance and just spin. Work the buttock, hip, thigh, stairmaster, stair climb. Low impact aerobic exercise. Again, low impact, large muscle groups within the range of motion, minimal resistance. Walking on a level surface without an incline and a nice, comfortable, gentle pace. Low impact, aerobic, oxygen bound, muscle exercise, large muscle groups. You see here, treadmill. You see no incline, resistance is minimal, and a nice, steady pace. Large muscle groups, cycling, large muscle groups, Nice gentle pace without an incline is shown here. Wonderful exercise. Incline can be done. And again, this is working large muscle groups, the hip, the buttock, the thigh, the calf, as well as the trunk stabilizers. Excellent all over aerobic workout and or exercise, cycling. This is pool, treading water, again, large muscle groups within the range of motion, gentle exercise movements. It can literally be done with just buoyancy and just the resistance of the muscle groups themselves. Treading water, a wonderful all over body exercise. Swimming, 
great for the cardiovascular as well as joint, as well as large muscle groups, aerobic, oxygen bearing exercise. Paddle pool kick. This is a paddle kick. Just buoyancy with minimal resistance. More swimming, great for all age groups. See a little tyke here just enjoying a breaststroke. General aerobic movement, large muscle groups. Water aerobics, wonderful for all age groups, especially seniors. Again, this is uh, buoyancy with minimal resistance, movement of large muscle groups within the range of motion. Nice for balance, strength, gait, and coordination. Again, more water aerobics, upper extremity. See the range of motion, shoulder, elbow, wrist, as well as the hand. And the pool paddle kick at wall. You'll see here in a moment, uh, she appears to be resting, but uh, in just a second, you'll see the legs move out into the uh, prone position and She'll kick and beat the water while using the side of the pool and wall to balance and stabilize the upper body. Stationary bike upright, a wonderful exercise for aerobic conditioning as well as the movement of buttock, thigh, calf, foot, as well as the trunk stabilizers. Dial down the resistance and just spin. Wonderful aerobic exercise with large muscle groups. It could also be done in a seated stationary bike Again, minimal resistance, nice, gentle, relaxed, uh, fluidic movements, large muscle groups, aerobic conditioning. Nice thing about upright, it can, some of the bikes are built to support the upper body and give it rest as you work and exercise the lower body. Dialing down the resistance and again, just spinning through the large muscle groups. Stationary bike with rest, minimal resistance, Maximum rotational movement, large muscle groups, aerobic conditioning. Nice, gentle, comfortable, relaxed space. It can be done by seniors and those with disabilities and or wheelchair bound. This is showing a leg ergometer. They also have a variant known as the arm ergometer or the arm stationary bike for upper extremity. Again, dialing down the resistance and just spinning. It's going to be done by all age groups, including the disabled and those with disabilities, wheelchair bound. See the elliptical machine. This is a great sort of all over upper and lower body workout. As you see as the image pans upward, see the movement, the arm swing, and the leg kick. Nice sort of cross country skiing motion and maneuver getting all large muscle groups, upper and lower extremity. Whole body aerobic exercise workout. Again, minimal resistance and just moving uh, sequentially, rhythmically, large muscle groups. Nice, gentle, relaxed, comfortable pace. Boxing, shadow boxing, great total body all over aerobic workout. See large muscle groups, Move synergistically, rhythmically, in concert. It's a great, great workout. Upper extremity. Of course, you can add a bounce, a weave, uh, and a movement laterally and side to side. Soccer. Just, just kind of a, a kick to the ball. Just a, a nice sort of a restful uh, activity there. Basketball dribbling. Great aerobic workout, dribbling the basketball. Volleyball, again, just a great all-over workout. Table tennis, kids are modifying it here by sort of adding a little, a little bit of a, a run, circular run to it. Great, great, impro improv you know, great, imp great improvisation there. And, of course, full court tennis. All examples of aerobic, low impact conditioning exercise. Jumping rope, a little bit more high impact, moderate impact on the back and knee and ankle, foot and ankle, but a great, great exercise for aerobic conditioning. 
even dancing. <laughs> even dancing can be a great, great exercise, especially for seniors. Rhythmic, rhythmic dancing can be done in large groups, and that sort of adds to the fun of it. You see balance, gait, stability, and movement of large muscle groups, sort of a concerted fashion. Great exercise. Look to be having fun. Hiking, again, weather permitting, paying attention to safety, sunscreen, water, trail snacks, and the like. But uh, yeah, very, very, very just a gentle sort of trail bound. Uh, hiking is, is a wonderful aerobic exercise. Just make sure it's weather and climate permitting. Safety is paramount, of course. Children should always be supervised, those young young persons. But a great overall activity. Even hula hoop. A great, great aerobic exercise. Sort of whole body conditioning. Obviously minimal to low to no impact. Large muscle groups, aerobic conditioning. It can be literally done for hours. We'll talk about some exercise conditioning, the squat deep knee bend. The shuffle step, these are just sort of exercises. What we saw there were more activities. The jump squat for balance and strength, for balance and strength, especially lower extremities. Jumping jacks, again, for balance and coordination. Now we have the scissor jump squat for agility, strength, and balance. Rhythm balance steps. Rhythm balance steps. Again, you see the coordination there. Large muscle groups, rhythmic fashion. The leg kick, buttock and core strength and balance. Buttock, core strength and balance. Let's switch and do the other side. Again, low impact aerobic conditioning. This is the bicycle kick, supine. This is core. Core abdomen, low back, hip flexor as well as extensors. Trunk twist for balance and core strengthening. And then the thigh hop, agility, a lower extremity, strength, and balance. All excellent. Okay. Abdominal crunch can be done on the ball. Again, this is core, core strength, balance, Abdominal crunch floor. It's a variant of the ball. This is core strength, core conditioning, balance, or also core stabilization. Leg lifts is a case for core and quadriceps strength, the front of the thigh. The balance ball again, core stabilization. So you're having a balance as she's moving up her extremities. Good for the back as well as the, the front and the abdomen, as well as the seated buttock musculature. Balance is paramount for fall prevention. And thumbs up. <laughs> Neck conditioning. Again, this is just more demonstrations of neck and upper extremity. These are all conditioning and Low impact aerobic exercise and conditioning stretches prior to some of the more high impact and or aggressive maneuverings, which we'll come to in a minute. Tension band for resistance strength. See here, upper, upper extremity is what's being depicted. The bicep, the front of the shoulder, and the front of the arm. Now you see the tension band, resistance and strength with two, two feet. And then, of course, both upper extremity adding increased resistance by having adding both feet. Isoing out both upper upper extremities. And this is upper body again, isoing upper body, back and core and buttock. Now let's transition to resistance exercise, resistance exercise. So we're moving from low impact, minimal resistance to actually engaging in resistance. Of course, body initially and gravity, if you will, and then on into the actual weights. 
trunk and hip twist supine. You see the weight serving as resistance. The body's weight and gravity, if you will, serving as resistance. See the dynamic explosive core crunch. Variant of the abdominal crunch we saw earlier. But again, this is dynamic. So body yielding resistance. Scissor kick combined with abdominal crunch. Uh, it's a coordinated effort of large muscle groups. Resistance push-up. Again, body serving as resistance. See, isotonic, or iso sort of weight, if you will, same weight, body serving as resistance. This is resistance band, resistance band. This is core, buttock, and thigh, front of the thigh. This is core, buttock, and then the back of the thigh or the hamstring depicted here. Again, these are resistance bands adding to the body's own natural weight in terms of resistance. There's a resistance band back conditioning. We see depicted here, keeping the back straight, level to the floor. Now we see the arm and upper shoulder, or the, the upper arm and shoulder in the front of the forearm. Again, resistance band adding to the body's additional weight, if you will. This is resistance band balance, as well as buttock conditioning. Balance, as well as buttock conditioning. You see the buttock actually in full flexion there. Now we'll move to resistance exercise, from the stretching to the actual resistance exercise. These are the so shoulder and forearm pull down. So you're seated on balance ball, working the core as well. This is balance and form is particularly key. Balance and form is particularly key. This is resistance shoulder, back, and latissimus. Shoulder, back, and lat. See the resistance with large muscle groups. Not going past. The point of range of motion, normal range of motion. Resistance pectorals, deltoid, the biceps, and the latissimus. Never crossing midline and not hyperextending. Resistance tricep. So resistance tricep. Pull down on the, on the left. Flexion on the right. Resistance tricep and forearm. And we see less weight, more repetitions. Less weight, more repetitions. This is the latissimus pull down being demonstrated here. Notice the technique. So we're keeping some flexion to the arm at the elbow so that we're not hyperextending the elbow and we're not going past normal range of motion. Biceps, this is the forearm and hand grip as well as the front of the shoulder. Notice the seated position, upright, excellent form and body balance. Minimal weight, more repetitions. Notice the breathing pattern, ensuring proper oxygenation without undue strain and or force. This is resistance chest, bicep, latissimus, and back. The bicep, deltoid, and pectorals are being demonstrated here. Notice the form. This is the maneuver for tricep. Notice the machine resistance. Notice the form. Again, this is tricep depicted here. This is tricep, note the minimal weight and more repetitions. The seated form, not going past the point of the normal range of motion. <clears throat> this is compound muscle group demonstrated here. This is aerobic, this is the rowing machine, great resistance all over body exercise. 
can be done by women as well. Exercise for two. Let me see ladies too. Note the minimal resistance, more repetition. Great feminine form. This is the lat pull down with minimal weight, minimal resistance, out hyperextending, and without over flexing. This is a resistance bench press that we see here. This is the machine weighted resistance, but note the form. Not going past 90 degree and not going past full extension. Full control of the weight. This is a resistance abdomen core being demonstrated here. Again, minimal weight, more repetitions. Resistance abdomen and torso. This is weighted, just sort of a drop hang, if you will. More explosive. Sort of power from the core. Again, it's a depiction of this for abdomen as well. Resistance, the front of the thigh being depicted here. Again, minimal, minimal resistance, minimal weight, and more repetitions, not going past the point of normal range of motion. It can be also done, of course, by women as well. Front of the thigh resistance exercise. Note the bottle of water for fluid hydration. Very, very key, very, very important. Minimal weight. This is the thigh anterior front. This is the inverted position. Note that the form is critical here. Back is straight. And that the knee does not go into full extension and flexion. Is main, a bit of flexion is maintained on the way down. This is depicted here also. Note, avoiding full extension of the knee and avoiding full flexion in the, seat, in the, in the, in the downward motion and or position. This is resistance buttock and back of thigh. Nice, slow, steady, rhythmic movements. This is back of thigh and the calf. Note the weight to the left there, minimal weight, minimal resistance, range of motion within the, within the parameters of comfort. Large muscle groups in a controlled fashion. This is resistance pectorals and tricep. It's taking a bit of a rest there, but you'll move into the flex movement here as you see. And then this is bonus, this is ab abdomen inverted crunch. This is the inverted crunch. Much harder than it looks. Much harder than it looks. Any of us, any of you all that can do that? <laughs> uh, certainly you'll consider that a, a bonus point of your workout. <laughs> See, he's quite, quite, quite spent there. This is a free weight. You want to use a spotter. Weight below max. More reps. Limit sets and alternate days. Notice he's demonstrating using a spotter. Minimal weight, as you see, to begin with. Weight below max. Very important with free weights. Free weight conditioning reps. Build up to max weight. And he's going to be conditioning sets. And he's going to prepare the large muscle groups for more aggressive uh, maneuverings. Balance, form, technique, and weight below max. See here, note the back is straight. The weight balanced. Weight below maximum. Excellent form and technique. Control of the weight. Again, this is weight below max. Note the back is straight. The shoulders are at right angles. The shoulder and elbow at right angles. Stretch to the overhead press. Again, again without hyperextending. Control of the weight on the up and downward movements. It's the bicep curl depicted here. Note the back is straight. Neck and head are straight. Weight is not allowed to drop or hang. It's the dumbbell press. Note the right angles 
on the downward movement, avoidance of hyperextension on the upward movement. The inclined bench press can be done by women also. Less weight, more repetitions, excellent form, great balance, great technique, control of the weight at all times. Key principles, inclined bench press here, balance form and technique, weight below max, weight below max, note the, the, the elbow at right angles, avoiding hyperextension on the upward movement, control of the weight on the downward movement. Method is replicated in the bench press. Note the breathing, you wanna breathe on the downward movement, exhale on the upward movement. Breathe in, inhale on the downward movement. Notice the chest and abdomen rising and then falling as you go through the upward movement. See, note the increase in abdominal or the chest uh, diameter, if you will, on the downward movement. Expiration on the upward movement. Arm and elbow at right angle, avoiding hyperextension on the upward uh, bound. Less weight, more repetitions. And then sets as can be accommodated or tolerated, and then alternating days. It's been a little bit longer on this particular segment here, so that you can see the technique is critical. Again, this is the dumbbell press. Note the, the downward movement or right angles, right angles, avoiding hyperextension on the up. Breathing should be on the downward movement, inhalation on the downward movement, ex expiring, expire, expiration or expiring on the upward movement. Form and technique, balance form and technique, control the weight at all times, not allowing the weight to drop. Not going past midline on the upward movement, very critical, note the breathing. Inhalation on the downward movement, expiration on the upward. This is the overhead press with bar. You see a little bit of a stress and strain there. You're gonna, you want to kind of avoid it. Make sure you're exercising good technique. That's ISO on muscle groups now. This is the chest muscle group. You see here, this is working pectoralis as well as bicep. Note control of the weight, not going past the point of extension. See, this is a different view, not going past midline, not going past the point of extension on the downward movement. And this will also be done as a floor exercise as well. And this is critical that technique come into play here so as not to injure oneself. See, less weight, as you see, and more repetitions. Less weight, more repetitions. It's an ISO on the bicep. See, stabilizing the weight, seated position, legs spread apart. Control of the weight at all times on the, uh, on, the, on the downward motion. This is tricep ISO. See control of the weight, excellent form. Demonstrate the shoulder and back. Shoulder and back, note the right angle, note the avoidance of hyperextension by a little bit of flexion on the upward movement. Critical. Deltoid and trapezius. Note the form, very important. Not, crass, not past midline, not past 90 degree on the downward motion. motion. Deltoid, trapezius, and latissimus. You can actually see the muscle groups working there. It's a demonstration of all three. See the dumbbell press, the tricep, and then the bicep curl all the way to the right. This is the lower extremity. Note the back is straight, the buttock is engaged, and the thigh movement you see there. Let's look at some advanced techniques. Let's look at advanced techniques here. We'll transition. This is a little bit harder to do here. This is a plank. Note the back and the core stabilization. The deadlift. Note the back parallel to the floor. Use of the buttock and the thigh. This is a snatch and clean jerk. Again, note the back form parallel to the floor, the thigh and buttock engaging to get the weight to the chest. 
snatch and technique bar alone. So this clearly can be done by women and or female. It's the squat technique. Note the weight is the bar and the weight necessarily is balanced on the back, on the back. Okay. Upper extremity spread apart. Weight is in balance. Bar is balanced. Weight on the back and the shoulder. Buttock and thigh are being used to power the weight to the upward position. Notice the explosion on the up, on the up position. Now we'll transition to herbal health with food as medicine. Food as medicine. Uh, so we'll start to look at um, the various uh, groups. We'll start with water. Again, as we said earlier, uh, an ounce per kilogram of body weight per day for adults, uh, for, for children, and a half ounce for adults. For muscle function and recovery, again, protein is the various muscle groups we talked, uh, various uh, food groups we talked about before: beef, lit, lamb, and veal, chicken, fish, nuts, quinoa, and these are all again. Uh, this, these are nutritional supplements for your valine, your lysine, your isoleucine, lysine, tryptophan. These are part of your nine essential amino acids that cannot be uh, produced by the body; they must be taken in exogenously in the food. They are important for muscle function. And for pro for protein uh, repair and synthesis, and for muscle growth and function, as well as the brain and immune system. Okay, and these can supplement a standard vegetarian and/or vegan diet. It's very very important for muscle function, protein function, muscle function and recovery. Your nuts, your seeds, your grain. Quinoa, excellent superfood is quinoa. Complex carbohydrate, as well as a grain, and as well as fiber, all in quinoa. So it's an egg white, again, very high, high in uh, protein, as well as tofu and bean. We'll break out a few here. Avocado, again, as we said, omega-6 fatty acids. Again, your vitamin B5, B6, C, E, and K as well as folate and fiber, superfood. Quinoa, superfood, calorically dense, complex car carbohydrate, high in polyunsaturated fat, micronutrient rich, your manganese, your magnesium, your zinc, your copper. These are these micronutrients that are normally not produced or manufactured by the body. Artichoke, immune boosting, antioxidants. We said micronutrients, your magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, zinc. Copper, endami, thiamine, folate, and micronutrient rich. So B1 as well as folate, another part of the B complex, very, very important for neurologic function. Endami, superfood. Quinoa, superfood. Artichoke, superfood. Avocado, superfood. And cheap. Excellent to source, preferably organic. So absence of pesticides and various other challenges uh, in growing these foods is done much, much more organically, much more cleanly. Aloe, ginger, garlic, lemon, the list there to your right. We're going to go through these particular uh, sort of herbs, if you will, or herbal supplements. Aloe being the first we'll start off with. This is pain relief, pain relief anti-inflammatory, lowers blood pressure if it's drank uh, as a medicinal it limits constipation and irritable bowel. Again, anti-inflammatory properties. Ginger alleviates nausea, vomiting. It's a good anti-diarrheal, and it helps with cold and flu symptoms. Again, these can all be gotten individually sourced. Uh, ginger can be gotten raw, can be uh, gotten naturally or raw or semi-processed, if you will, uh, already prepared. Uh, aloe can be uh, derived really directly from the plant or it can be blenderized and formed into a smoothie or a drink or a juice. Aloe juice can also be consumed, aloe vera juice.
Aloe even limits irritable bowel. Interesting. Garlic um, promotes gut health, lowers blood pressure and cholesterol, kind of along with turmeric, uh, one of the spices that we saw. Limits cold and flu symptoms, as we well know. Lemon. Uh, it's a great sort of anti-anxiety, promotes sleep, improves memory and learning. Lemon balm in particular can be taken, um, can be supplemented. Lemon balm, mint, helps headache, helps relieve sort of uh, headache, cold and flu, as well as irritable bowel. So much like aloe, it can help with irritable bowel and or the inflammatory bowel, and also if colitis, your Crohn's disease, aloe, aloe vera, the juice, aloe vera juice, mint, if you will, mint, or the mint oils, they can be, these can be added, if you will, to the foods, salads, smoothies, if you will, okay, blenderize and add it to smoothies, lemon oil, lemon balm, okay, so a semi-solid balm, uh, easy, easy to add to uh, foods that you're already uh, planning and or preparing to eat. Acacia is a great skin cleanser. Grapeseed, wonderful medicinal, lowers cholesterol and blood pressure, limits heart disease, asthma, and allergies. So great immune boosting anti inflammatory. Honey, great antiseptic. It's, it's actually antibacterial, but it can also serve as a laxative, and it's a great gut probiotic, a great cheap gut probiotic. Restore gut bacterial balance and bacterial function in the gut. Honey. Be careful with honey with children uh, under the age of between two and five. So be very, very careful with honey, uh, processed honey, natural honey. Uh, unprocessed, unpasteurized honey, in particular in children under the age of five, certainly those under the age of th two or three. Always consult your doctor before, uh, or your indoor healthcare provider with any of these medicinals. These are wonderful uh, adjuncts to your diet. And generally cheaply sourced. Turmeric, as we said before, anti-inflammatory, okay, helps with blood pressure, also helps with uh, inflammatory bowel, irritable bowel, okay, overall gut health, it limits eczema and psoriasis and arthritis, so it's a great sort of wonder spice, anti-inflammatory, anti-diarrheal, anti-spasmodic for those that have, you know, a lot of gas, if you will, okay. Great for inflammatory bowel, irritable bowel, arthritis, those having joint disease, arthritis. Cinnamon lowers blood sugar. Well documented, well documented. An antibacterial, antioxidant, and pro, as well as a probiotic. Okay, along with honey. It's a great probiotic. It's antibacterial as well as antioxidant. Again, both easily obtained, cheaply sourced. You can add it to uh, desserts or, or smoothies or um, coffees or teas, if you will. Turmeric can be added to gravies or sauces uh, as you, in your food preparation. So it's easy to sort of, you know, move these herbs into your your seasoning, if you will, or into your flavoring, if you will, for, uh, for the various you know meals that you may be preparing. Ginkgo, we know, well-established, improves thinking, learning, and memory. Surprisingly, eyesight. Eyesight. Ringing in the ear, tinnitus, re ear ringing or ringing in the ears, as well as increased blood flow for those, you know, having issues with perhaps some diabetes or some some uh, peripheral, you know, peripheral blood vessel vascular disorders, if you will, low flow states. Echinacea, great immune boosting, limits cold and flu symptoms. Echinacea, ginseng, great immune booster as well as uh, improvement in memory function. But it also helps with mood. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the um, Orient will use it in teas. And it also seems to have some cancer fighting properties as well. And it's kind of moving up in terms of those uh, 
uh, antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, immune-boosting herb, you know, ginkgo, ginkgo biloba, echinacea, ginseng. These are all just sort of super, uh, super herbs. They really help the body repair and resist inflammation. Repair and resist inflammation. Boost immune function. Help natural killer cell, natural cancer fighting uh, properties. So that's herbal health. Uh, the references, as you see there, healthline.com. Uh, Dr. Alan Tran can be reached. He specializes in Eastern and Western medicine as well as functional medicine. How to get you better how to restore the body's basic functions and systems so they work better, more productively, more efficiently, with less inflammation uh, and less damage to the tissues from oxidation. oxidation. Uh, I am Ronald A. Green, I'm a certified health and wellness coach. You both can be reached at the same offices there. Feel free to reach out to us uh, as you may wish. Thank you so much now. We value your time and your attention. Bye-bye now.